Now entertaining with some personality. The final competitor, with, with class. And now on the ice, the final competitor in the men's event of the 1990 World Figure Skating Championships. He is both charismatic and enigmatic. 22-year-old Christopher Bowman. He comes in in fifth spot with a chance for the bronze medal. His opening jump seems a little easy by men's standards, but a double axle. Does that because his next jump is a triple axle. It gives him a great feeling of takeoff. He needs this jump. Taking off forward three and a half revolutions in the air. And he can't hang on to the landing. Filipowski for third place. He's been having a lot of trouble with his consistency this week. Nice triple loop. And when watching him, he's gotten better each day in practice. It seems like if he had three more weeks, he might be prepared to take on even Browning. Well, how much of a factor will this uh, conditioning be in the last couple of minutes now? Be a big factor. He needs to hit everything from now on to assure himself of the bronze medal. year for Christopher Bowman. He'll turn 23 on the 30th of March. I think most of you know he absolutely adores the spotlight. And he's, he's having to share crowd. it here. He's working the crowd and the referee. <laughs> this week a little bit. I think any kind of medal here would be a huge personal victory for him.
took him a while, but he got the crowd into it. And now the question remains, was that enough to knock Greg Lars Filipowski out of third place and give Bowman the bronze medal? There's Filipowski. He seems to think it might have been enough. And here's a replay of that last triple toe loop. He hadn't done it in, in the program all week. He threw it in at the last minute. I don't know why. Is it guts or complete lunacy? It's guts Just when you land. Just mention that we are going to be having the. I've got a sense that Frank Carroll doesn't know why either, Scott. Well, I think a lot of things Chris does is lost on Frank. <laughs> And they're excellent marks, two five eights and five sevens, comparable to Victor Petrenko's marks, but uh, without the triple axle. Five, six, five, seven, five, Man, seven. I went for it. Thank you, thank you. The second time you went for it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. The second time went. Well, you should not. Well, I'm anyway, we'll All get it. head and no heart. Compression. In that attempt. All head and no heart. Here are the artistic five, impression marks, Scott. And they're going to go up. He's a great performer. And that'll assure him the bronze medal. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's a war going on out there. I was so lost. I was so lost. You know, I was just trying to get the, get the stuff off. No kidding. I made up the program, remember? <laughs> well, I'm sure he will. Kurt Browning wins the title. Victor Petrenko finishes second. Christopher Bowman is third. Now, for more on the soap opera, here's Pat O'Brien. You guys seem to have argued your way through this week. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> well, it's never easy. Life with Christopher is never easy. It's hard. It's, it's been a crazy year for about all life with Frank? Huh? How about life with Frank? Life with Frank couldn't be any better. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this man. What did you have to do? What did you think when you went in? What you, what you had to do to, to get the bronze? I mean, it was real hard because... Uh, it was because... Uh, I felt like I was on cleanup crew, the uh, grand finale. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a pressure in itself. I was uh, a little tired, trying to get myself together, skating last, but really attack it. And just, you know, fight like a dog. I, I don't care what happens. I don't care what number I have to skate anymore. I'm not going out there with my head. I'm going out there with my heart. I'm going for it. What a moment it must be for Kurt Browning, skating before the home folks. He becomes the first man to successfully defend a world championship since Scott Hamilton in 1984. Our same day coverage of the ladies competition is next after this message and a word from your local station.